Right, uh, that's the cake eaten. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, good evening, rather. And it's fucking cold, isn't it? I was walking my dog and got fucking kicked up the ass by a fucking Eskimo. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, we used to, we, we had Cantonese neighbours as a kid. We used to knock on, we used to knock on the door every time the dog's ball went in the garden. We used to go and ask, we had to go and ask for the dog back. Yeah, if we could have a book on their windowsill, how to walk your dog. Anyway, what we have here, we have uh, my friend Peter, or Nigel, hang on. Oh, and that is for all you Americans, in tribute of your president. That's what we in Britain call a Donald. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what we've got here, uh, we've got a Watson... Uh, power my power supply and if I put my glasses on I'll be able to tell you the model number oh, hopefully switch mode power supply 11 to 15 volts 20 20 amps uh, does it say the power supply it's made by well it's badged as a Watson but as we know they're all made by mass uh, and there is no model number on it, so I can't give you the model number. Uh, apparently there's a couple of issues with this supply. Uh, one, it's got all mi a mismatch of screws in it, uh, which is not the main issue. Um, but it's one he wants me to address if I can. And the other issue is, I believe it's stuck on 13.8 volts or thereabouts. And the switch at the back here for auto or whatever doesn't work and the power switch doesn't work either so we're going to look into that and find out where the power switch why, why the power switch doesn't work uh, and he said the fan doesn't work either so we need to find out why the fan doesn't work so we'll start so what i'll do i'll just uh I'll just put you on pause and I'll be back in a minute. I'll let you get on with that. Right, uh, let's, let's lift the skirt and see what we've got. There we go. And someone's just fell out of there. What's this? Oh, switch, switch replaced. Poorly crimped spade connector soldered. Well, somebody's been in there and repaired it before me, so. Let's see how well their repair was done. Now, first of all, let's just plug this back in. I'm just having a little quick look round it first, or so you can see it. It's basically what it is. It's cheap shit, really. But uh, see what we can do with it. There's a there's a thermal couple there on the heat sink. And that is designed to turn the fan on and off. That is designed to turn the fan on and off. Uh, and I don't like this. There's no earth. There's no earth. Going for, it's just a two core plug that. There's no earth. There's no earth on that. There's not, never been one. It's... I don't like that, but I'd like to see an earth room, uh, to be honest, but obviously they haven't done it. Uh, anyway, let's just get a meter. Let's put the meter on continuity. You probably won't see the meter. Put the meter on continuity. Get the, plug, the earth terminal of the plug. And oh, it is earthed. It is earthed. It is. It is. Well, well they must have earthed it. it. Must be connected. It must be connected at the bottom then. So it is earthed. Didn't think it was. Uh, anyway, let's plug it in. Plug it in and see what we get. Uh, 
Hmm. Be careful where I put my fingers. Because switch mold suppliers can bite. Remember, if you do this, you do it at your own risk. Switch molds, like every other power supply, can bite. Thirteen point six. And that's gone down to eleven. Sixteen. So the voltage adjustment is working. So the voltage adjustment is working. Uh, the on off switch isn't though. Where is the on off switch? On off switch isn't working. No. Right, well that's no problem. It's just find out why the fan doesn't work. Andy, we'll catch you later. Well, I'll catch you later Andy. Okay. Bye mate. See you later buddy. Right, let's pull the plug out. Alright, the fan probably doesn't work because the photocouple is probably fucked. Right, so basically, that's my friend just leaving. So basically, we're going to start by testing the switches. Right. right. So basically, we'll, we'll start by testing the switches, and this is it's a bit of a hack job. This well, the switch isn't working because it's been bypassed. And look at this folks, look at this. Somebody has decided to just use a piece of sticky tape uh, for that. Let me bring this in, this is how dangerous some fuckers are. This is why some people should never be fucking let fucking loose near anything. Look at that. Piece of fucking sticky tape on a fucking live wire. Now we know why the switch doesn't work, because it ain't even connected. So the switch could be bollocks, but we'll find that out. So zoom you back out again. Now let's, so we know why that one doesn't work, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to test the other side of the switch, because on some of these you can use the other side. One side burns out, the other side hasn't been used. So you can still use the other side of the switch, because they only use one side anyway. So we'll go back to, and what we'll do, we'll pop the switch out because if it doesn't work, it's going to be replaced. So we'll pop it out and make it easier for me to test it. Try and get a, another screwdriver under there and try and get one under there. Try and get the switch out. Just trying to get the switch. Out. <laughs> That's that side up. I mean, I mean, instead of replacing the switch. Who 
whoever did it come out you bastard because it has to come out anyway fuck's sake I'll bring you back in a minute folks, let me just get this fucking switch out. Right that's the switch out, let's have a look. See if both pulls on it are dead or only one, because I could reuse it if one's okay. Right, continuity. That's okay. That side's dead, but on oh, that side, as long as we clean it up, there you go. Use the other side of the switch that's not burnt out. Simple. So we'll do that after. Now let's have a look at the other switch. And guess what folks? Oh no, I was going to say that was disconnected as well. So let's unplug that because that we have the luxury of a plug on the end of that one. So let's see. Right. Well the switch is working on that one. So that switch is okay. So So we need to investigate that one. So that one's for troubleshooting. Now, right, so this switch is working at the back here. Now, I need to find out whether the photocopper works. Now, where's the fan? I mean, I will be pulling it all out anyway. I'll tell you, folks, I'm going to strip it. Uh, I'll bring you back when I have done. I'll get to the board. Right, we're back. And... We're back. We have... Uh, right... We have the power supply main board removed from the case, and that's the fan there. And that's the SCN, which is the thing there, the thermal couple. We'll have a look at why that doesn't work. Uh, that should really just be a switch. So, uh, it's a bit fucking grubby in there. 
Right, what I want to do first, I want to see if there's any voltage on any of these capacitors. I want to see if there's anything stored. So we'll go there. I want to make sure. One volt. One volt. That's good now. Alright. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at taking. Uh, that goes to the lamp at the front. The lamp's obviously burnt out. Uh, so the fan goes on the connection nearest the power plug and this yeah because I need to take all these I want to get to under the heat sink so I'm gonna bring you back in a minute right well I've got the uh, Got the power supply out. So that's the power supply board there, folks. And basically, uh, what the issue happens to be, well, basically, it's full of crud and dirt, need to be cleaned. And I want to look at the fan first of all because it felt grungy when I tried to turn it. So we'll look at that first of all. And this switch here goes. We'll look at that in more detail in a minute. But first I want to investigate the fan. So we'll put the power supply board. There for a minute, out of the way. Now the fan. Ooh. Now the fan is very grungy, folks. It's probably fucked. So I'm probably after gonna replace the fan. I don't think I've got one this size. So, looks like Peter might have to put his hand in his pocket. Right, so, what we'll do first, we'll see if we we'll service this one. But that sounds very unlikely. I'm just trying to see if the blades are catching anywhere. And they're not so let's pull the sticker off what's happened is what's happened here folks is the fan has suffered from a dry bearing and in all honesty in all honesty, not people, not many people actually bother to go to the trouble of actually oiling them. But that's why your fan doesn't work, Peter. Now let me find me sticker upper. What the fuck is all that behind me? Tape recorder case.
Uh, I've got me, I've got my little sticker upper. So we'll try and get the. A little plastic clip off. It doesn't matter his foot anyway. find another replacement that's knackered but there again, I've got a feeling I'm going to be replacing the fan anyway that's definitely so your worst case scenario there we go this has had something spilt down it let's try and clean it It. This has had something spilled down it. This supply because the fans got rust in it. Right, so let's. All I'm trying to do is clean Been in a damp place this fan. Let's try and clean. Let's have a look at this side. Oh god, look at that folks. Look at that. Try and clean all this crap off. Let's see if we can resurrect this fan. I think it might be a basket case. But if I can, I will. WD-40. Don't usually bother WD-40 but I think in this case it might do the world of good. Alright, let's put them back together. I think we might be putting a new fan in it, folks. Right. I need to see if I've got one. It's sticking there. Yeah. Yeah. I think the fan's fucked. I'm just wiping it out now. 
try and see if we can do something with it really. Right. So he's gonna have to order a fan. Um I know I haven't got one this size. Um, that I do now, I can say that for certain. shit on it there. Uh, that one's okay, that one's okay. It's that one there. Let's go over them all. Definitely, let's see how it spins now. Ooh, catches there. Yeah, the fans. It's going to need a new fan. Yes. I'm just cutting around here because there is a lot of crap in here. I mean, in all honesty, on this. There is a lot of crap in here, so just by cleaning it. Pull these bits out. Look at all that there. All that there is actually crap. All that there is actually shite. There we go. But it's got crap all in the bottom of it, and that's where it's catching. There we go. Look at that. See how that spins now. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. It even falls out of there now that. So that's a lot better. So we're actually We're actually spinning a lot better now. We've got some crap. Let's just... There we go. Switch cleaner. Put that on the top. Sandwich it in. There we go. Let's 
looks a lot better. It's a big improvement. Doesn't jam now. Look at that. It's actually pulling it. Look at that, it pulls it back in now. The magnet's actually working. Before you could shake that really, you could shake it pretty loosely, it'd fall out. Get me. Get me cloth. Oh, I just found my greasing brush anyway. That disappeared for a few days, it's turned up. Well, basically, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean the inside of this pull piece, if you like. Get all the crap out of there, and hopefully, might be able to resurrect this fan. Because it'd be nice to sort of sort that out without having to spend any money. I mean, it's not. It's not an expensive power supply, this, and it's not worth spending the money on. It's not one where I'd want to spend a lot of money. But, oh, that's polished up lovely. Ooh. Yeah, they're polishing up lovely then. Now let's just check this. back in there because it will need to come back out again. It's still sticking. It's gone quieter though. It's getting hard to get that out now. It's gone quieter. That's all clean, so there's nothing sticking in there, so whatever it is, but it's there. Right. I'm trying to keep the working camera but sometimes it's I'm trying to keep it in shot but sometimes you can't Oh, there's crap on the top here that's doing it. <sighs> well, well, that's all nice and clear. Yeah, that looks all clear. 
I haven't lubricated it yet. Not as bad. Let's see if we push that through. Oh, yeah. So we're looking at. Yeah, I think that's as good. We're going to get it. Let's give it a bit of lubricant. We'll find the oil. There's, uh, there's some oil. So what I'll do, I'll drop a bit of lubricant down the middle of it. There we go. It could even be, could even be a wire that's be, it could even be a piece of plastic or anything that's catching that. that that yep that Yeah, that's working now. I might need to find a new clip. I don't think this one's going to be any good. But we'll try it, see if we can get it to go in. Here we go. Yes. Does that pull out? No, nope, that stays in, but I like it a wee bit tighter than that. But that's in. That's the clip in. Right, so that's the fan sorted. Now Slip of me a sip of me a slip, a sip of me coffee now folks. Which has gone cold. Now let's put this stuff back away out of the way of me. 
we'll have a look at let's have a look at uh, Yon Power Supply. Now this has definitely had something in it because it's right. So the switch is there, and it's the switch really I want to look at because the power supply itself is working. So I want to look at the switch and follow that. The resistors hang on a minute. Yeah. My own fault, I should have put them back. But I wish after I finished using them, I forgot all about it. No, they've just reminded me they've been left out. So, what I'll do, I'll put them there, and I'll put them back after. Right, so let's. Yeah. yeah, I've got a bad case of the Donalds. Yeah, the old Trumps. Yes. Tell you what, there's not a lot of not a lot of electrolytic capacitors in this. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, not a lot. Get the diodes. Yeah. It was a fucking diode. You'd know, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, just basically, so it does adjust, so it's. Mm. And where's the, what do you call it in this? You can't adjust the, what do you call it in this, can you, the voltage? You can't adjust the voltage in this. It's, well you can only adjust it from the front. There's nothing in the back here for you to play with. So at least for now, the golden screwdriver merchant can't fucking turn anything either. So that's the switch. And that switch, let me just short that switch out, we'll see what it does. Let's see. When the switch is short, I want to just short it out for a minute. Should just be able to jump it with a piece of fucking solder. Right, so that's the switch jumped, as if it's on. Right. 
Right, so basically, that's a negative. And uh, that's a positive, this one here. Which goes to... Uh, what's that capacitor? Let's have a look at that capacitor. Negative goes that side. Just test this capacitor just because I can. And oh, you fucker, come on. Right. Two thousand two hundred microfarad. Yep, that's okay. So and that can go back in and where's my sucker? Where's me sucker so I can be in the fucking hole? Mm. It was out, so I know I'm not put it in a drawer. I've got two of them. I could have put it in a drawer too. If that one going to do, because I've got two of them, I'll get the one out of the drawer. There's one in there. That's the fucking ball foul, which I can't see any of them. Oh, for, for fuck's sake. Where the fucking hell is the other one? No, they're both out, so they're both on the desk somewhere. Oh, there it is. I've got two suckers on my desk. If any fucker says one sat in a chair, I'll break your face. Right. Sometimes in order you have to solder the fuckers back up. Clear the fucking holes out. Right, so, 
Right. Fill in. But it isn't that one, but it's worth. In my opinion, it's worth a look. Okay, now. Okay, now that doesn't want to go in. It came out of there. That's one side. Oh, that's right. Try straightening the fucking leg, that might help. See, it's hard to see. They, have, they all are nice and clean. It's actually hard to see. The fucking holes. Let's see if they measure up here. See if I can line them up here. Right, so at least we know. So, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just slightly, if I can, ouch! Slightly bend it that way, load it in. Took some doing, didn't get a fucking capacitor back in. Yeah. There we go. Nice solder joint there. Let's just check all the other joints.
Dios. That's just a photo couple. That's just a photo couple. Test that resistor. If that resistor's not working. If that the bulb isn't working, that resistor could be dead as well. Right, what value is that resistor? Can't they print the fucking freaking read to what? Two hundred ohms. Well, 200 ohms, it's bang on the money. Fucking this, folks, it's bang on the money, it's 200 ohms. <laughs> Let's just check this other capacitor here. So, this might read really the series with the fucking resistor, but I said I couldn't even bring out. <clears throat> Fourteen point seven microfarad. Now that's an unusual value. It's a fucking three thousand microfarad. Well, it's 3,000 or 300. So let's see what it reads now. See if it's down in value. Three thousand three three thousand or three seven yeah, yeah three thousand and thirty seven three three thousand three hundred and fucking thirty seven microfarad 
Whether someone daft it red is in value, it can go back in. Because it's intolerant, it can go back in. Yeah, back of the mini fold. I'm going to have a look at the front panel fold, see if the faults anywhere are there. Because I've got this big connector here. And And this is all done from in this box. So it could be. It could be. Yeah, it's done in this box. So let's have a look inside this box. I'm just getting the lid off, folks. Could even be inside this fucking box, I don't want to lose that either. It's an insulator to go on the regulators. There we go. Right, lift that off. Have a look in the back here. Right, well this is where everything's done. If I zoom in. Right, well this looks, this looks to be, this looks to be the meat and potatoes of it. I'd say this is the meat and potatoes, meat and potatoes of it, folks. And there's also a problem. That chip looks like it's taking a bit of heat. Get me pointer. That chip there looks like it's taking a bit of heat. And that resistor there looks fried. And I don't know what that resistor is. Let's see if it is fried. That resistor could be OC. Saying it's seventy nine K, but it's just rubbing off in my hand. There we are. That resistor's moving. Uh, right, let's get this board out. I'll be back in a minute, I'll get this board out. I don't think the faults on that one. I think the faults here. Right, well we're back and I'm looking, let's just find me pointer. Right. I'm looking. This resistor here. Let's see if we can zoom in. Right. Looking at that resistor there, which is overheated, and the board's all black around that as well, so... Mm. Definitely going to have to pull that out, but it's going to fall to bits. I just know it. <laughs> I just know it's going to fall to bits when I pull that resistor out. Well, the resistor's going to fall to bits. I'm going to have to, I need a circuit. I need to know what the value of the resistor is. I don't know. Because I can't read it. 
the only thing I can do really can't even guess it really I'm gonna pull it out and see if I can see if I, see if I can test it I'll give you some idea it's got to be replaced anyway so makes no difference it's got to come out so I'll just put some new solder on and It is the resistor that causes this, I believe. That's got that one. There we go. Let's try and hook it out. It's desoldered. Yeah. I need it in one piece for a few minutes. Try and keep it in one piece. It's all coming apart. Let's just clip it to me tester. See what my tester says it is. But I've got a feeling it's open this. Inductance, it's coming up as an inductor, but it's not, it's a resistor. It's saying it's 64.884 micro henries. So we know. Right. See what the test meter says it is. I'm going to have to try and get a circuit on it, I'm afraid. If I can't sort this out, it's definitely not an inductor, it's definitely a resistor. But it's saying it's an inductor. And it's not fucking. And it's open. Seven K. Hmm. I need to find out the exact value of that. So there's not really further, not not really much further I can go till I do. We'll put that there for a minute and see if it's. Ah, oh. six eighty. Right. Yeah, just make sure none of these diodes are blown. But it's actually resistor that's killed, that's died. And that's probably why the fan doesn't, well, the fan didn't come on because the fucking fan was all jammed up. But, you know. Just test this resistor, this diode here. See if we're open. No, we're okay. Just this other fucker at the side of it. We're okay there. We're okay there. Just that resistor. That resistor's got a bit of too hot, so I need to find out. And given that there's no model number, I'm going to have to try and find out what it should be. Oh, 
okay now Pete what have you given me to do anyway folks I'm gonna leave it there for now uh, I'm gonna have to leave it there for now because there's no point in uh, I'm gonna have to look for a circuit diagram um, on this little board at least so we'll find a reference is there, is there a reference on this board I need a circuit diagram, I just need to know. See, if somebody resistors, it tells you what the value is. Some of them, it fucking tells you the value of them. My one there, R3.9K. You know, some of them, it tells you what it is. But the fucker I want to know about doesn't. There's some, that, some, some, some of them tells you what it is, some of them don't. But I can't just... I can't just stick anything in. I've got to put the right one in or no, damn it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now, folks, and... Uh, this will be a continuation, I'm afraid. Uh, turn the soldering iron off. Right. I shall catch you later, folks. Bye for now.